everyone, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it's been so long since I've filmed. Uh, so much has happened in like the last like, I don't know, I think it's been over a month at least since I made a video and I apologize. Um, I did go on vacation at the end of February. I went to um, LA and like different parts of California. I went to Disneyland and uh, Universal Studios with my boyfriend for like a little vacation and it was super, super fun. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some photos. Uh, you can follow me, link will be down there. My username is right here. Um, but yeah, super, super fun. It was awesome. I cried in Cars Land. I saw Lightning McQueen, my bae. It was a dream come true. So yeah, I was on vacation for a week. I came back. I had a cold, so I just wasn't feeling well, was like pretty, you know, staying, I was resting. And then um, I had like a pretty busy weekend the week before my birthday. My birthday was March 15th, I just turned 23. And on March 10th, I had a big emo night birthday party. Once again, you would know this if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter actually, because I posted pics on Twitter. All my links are down below, like I said. But uh, the party was super fun, it was a blast. And then the week after the party, I got COVID. <laughs> So, I've been very sick since I've been back from my vacation. Like, other than those few days before the party and the party day, like, most of the past two-ish weeks have been me sick resting. So yeah, COVID kind of took me out for like a week. It wasn't as bad as the first time I had it. Um, and obviously like I'm boosted and stuff, so like it wasn't too bad, but it was just like annoying. And I'm still a little congested. If you hear any weirdness, I'm a little bit sniffly, but it, I'm mostly healthy. It's been a while. I've tested negative many times. Like I'm just, you know, coming out of the recovery. So that's mainly been why I haven't been posting. Um, so apologies, it's been so long. We did recently just hit 1,900 subscribers, so thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate that. We're so close to 2,000, which is a big milestone for me. So if you're watching and you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe. Now, since it is the month of March, which aside from it being my birthday month, it is also March Madness month. I was a March Madness baby, as my parents said. If you don't know what March Madness is, it's a big um, like college basketball tournament. And a lot of people make brackets when it comes to March Madness about what the teams they think will make to the final four and win and everything, right? So this is actually a trend like a few years ago and I'm finally doing it. Somebody made um, a bunch of different like pop punk and March sadness brackets. They floated around the internet. I found one on, uh, on Twitter and I, I actually printed it out old school. Here we go. Um, now for editing purposes, I'm gonna be putting it on the screen and everything so you guys can obviously see it better. Um, but I wanted to go old school and I wanted to like print this thing out and like fill it out pen and paper style because I just thought it would be easier for me and I think it's kind of fun. Um, but yes, I'm gonna be imposing this on the screen obviously and I'm gonna fill this out. So this is the March Sadness Pop Punk Bracket. It's a 64 team single elimination is what it says. So there are 64 bands and it's interesting. This is very interesting because essentially like it's not gonna like come down to my favorite band. I mean, maybe it will, I don't know. I don't know. But it's very much so, like if you were doing this team bracket, you're pinning teams, or in this case, bands, against each other, right? So it's really like, who would beat who, and not necessarily like, who is the best out of all of these. So I think this will be fun. I've obviously done these sort of trends before. I did like a pop punk um, ranking trend a few years ago. You can watch that, I'll link it up here. And now I'm finally coming in with the March Sadness Bracket. I figured this is the perfect time to do this, obviously, because it's March. I figured it could be a fun video to come back with after being gone for like a month. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I would also love it if you guys would do this too and like post, you know, your brackets. Uh, either like, you know, tweet me them or something because I think this is really, really fun. Also, like, this is just my opinion. I don't mean to offend any of these bands or like, if you like some of these bands and you disagree with my choice, like, it's just my opinion. I'm going off of, you know, what I like and what I prefer. I'm not going off of like, what I think, like, overall in life, like, this band is better than this band. I'm gonna be going off my opinion. So, without further ado, without, you know, making this intro any longer, let's just get into filling out the bracket. We're really out here like with a folder, like a pen and paper style. I love it. So we're starting off at the top left hand corner. We have movements versus counterparts. Uh, movements are like one of my top all time favorite bands. Like they're probably in at least top 10, maybe top five. So I'm going to say movements. Then we've got Trophy Eyes versus Water Parks. Uh, Trophy Eyes, 100%, same thing. They are also like 
definitely in my top 10 favorite bands water parks they're okay i like um i don't know probably like 10 or 10 or like fewer songs by water parks so sorry trophy eyes then we've got Belmont vs. Point North. Um, I am not very familiar with Point North. I think I have like a few of their songs saved, whereas Belmont are my boys. I've been a huge fan of Belmont uh, for like, f I don't even know, four or five years, I think, at this point. Um, I love them. They are amazing. So yeah, definitely gonna pick Belmont. Next we've got As It Is vs. State Champs. That's like not even a question. State Champs, my hometown boys. As It Is. Have always felt a little bit cringy to me. Um, I know like two songs. There's one song by them that I love. It's from the Great Depression album. Um, it's like, she holds my hand, but, but, but it doesn't feel the same. I don't even know the name of it, but that one is a bop. Everything else, yeah. I mean, dial tones, okay. But like, State Champs are my hometown boys. Um, I love them. Um, I'm obviously, aside from them being my hometown boys, like they just have great, great music. I've loved them for so long. Gotta choose State Champs. Next we have Neck Deep versus Bring Me the Horizon. This is an interesting pairing because I feel like they're a little bit different genre. I mean, like, I don't know how pop punky like Bring Me the Horizon is, you know? Um, either way though, I like Neck Deep way more. Sorry. Also, I, I just don't believe these two should have been pinned up against each other in the first place, but if we have to pick 100% Neck Deep. I know a lot more of their discography. They're obviously like more pop punk too. Now we have This Wildlife and With Confidence. Definitely picking With Con. Um, I really love them. I'm really sad they broke up. You can tell this is like a little bit outdated uh, from a few years ago, but yeah, With Confidence are great. I saw them on their final tour and they're awesome. I've been a fan of them for like five or six years. Uh, this Wildlife, I never really was able to get into them. Now we've got the story so far versus a day to remember. Are you serious? Like once again, I feel like stories so far are a lot more pop punk than a day to remember. I feel like they're a little bit, I don't know, post hardcore-y. Like they have, you know, like more you know, screaming and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like on a on like a daily basis, you know, I feel like I would listen to stories so far more than a day to remember. Like I feel like I have to be in more of like an angry mood to listen to them. I also used to listen to them a lot more than I currently do, um, so I'm gonna say stories so far. Now we have All Time Low versus Mayday Parade. This is a toughie for me. Honestly, like with All Time Low, I like like two of their albums in full and then like a bunch of other like just like handful of songs. And I feel like I'm the same with Mayday Parade. Mayday Parade, I really like self-titled and I love A Lesson in Romantics. Those are like my two, you know, full length, love them full albums, but Mayday Parade. And then like there's a few others kind of sprinkled in there that I enjoy too. I feel like these bands are kind of on like the same peg for me. Where like I like them, I like a few albums. Jeez, I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna go with Mayday Parade, which like might surprise some of you guys, but I just do not listen to All Time Low much anymore. I don't really get the hype much anymore. I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they just remind me of, like, when I was younger. And so I just feel like, overall, I just don't really listen to them much anymore. Whereas, like, Mayday Parade, you know, I had an emo night themed birthday party. And I put a lot of Mayday Parade on there. And, like, that's, like, the fun emo. Like, it, it takes me back, but, like, in a good way. And I, I don't know. I feel like it, old Mayday Parade holds up better to me than old All Time Low. I don't know. You can debate with me in the comments. We'll have a friendly conversation. But I'm saying Mayday Parade. Now we've got Seaway versus The Main. Um, I never really fully was able to get into The Main. I know a lot of people love them. I love I I know way more Seaway than The Main, and I really enjoy Seaway. I still listen to them a lot. Um, so I'm gonna give it to Seaway. Now we've got Paramore vs. Issues. This is also another weird pairing, I think, because like Paramore is so much bigger. Um, I had an issues phase like back in the day. I had my issues shirt. I used to listen to them a lot. I don't really listen to them much. I haven't listened to them for years. Paramore, I like never got into them. I'm sorry. I know maybe that's like a shock. Uh, my boyfriend's probably like cringing if he's watching this, hearing me say that. It's not that I don't like them. I just like, he needs to culture me. Like, and same with my friend Natalie. Like, there's people in my life that love Paramore and they need to like give me a playlist and tell me what to listen to. Cause it's not that I don't like them. I just never listened to them growing up. So I feel like I'm like too late to the game at this point. 
but I will say that like I do have a handful of their songs on my playlist and I listen to them and I don't listen to Issues anymore so I'm gonna have to give it to Paramore for sure. Now we've got Good Charlotte vs. Simple Plan. Um, I don't know. I think I know more Simple Plan songs than Good Charlotte. Though I'm kind of just like mad at both of them, but I did see Simple Plan at Riot Fest and they were fun live. So I'm gonna give it to Simple Plan. Some 41 versus Yellow Card. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Some 41, cause I think I like their music better. And I just like think they're a better band overall. Grayscale versus Boston Manor. Oh, why did these two have to be pinned against each other? This is tough. This is really hard because, oh my gosh. I know I have to go with Boston Manor. I'm gonna go with Boston Manor. But I really do love Grayscale. I just love more of Boston Manor. Like I feel like as a whole, I love pretty much like all of Boston Manor's discography. Whereas like older Grayscale, I haven't fully really gotten into. Um, but like their last few albums have been great. So it's that was a tough one, but I'm gonna give it to Boston Manor. Cartel versus Valencia. I'm not crazy familiar with either. Um, I think I know more Cartel, so I'm just gonna go with them. Don Broco versus In Her Own Words. Don Broco, 100%. I love me some Don Broco. Speak Low versus Hot Mulligan. You know I'm going with Hot Mully. Is that even a question? All right, now we're going to the other side, top right hand corner. We have Tonight Alive versus Yumi at Six. Um, I'm like not familiar with like either of these bands. Like I know of them, and I, but I couldn't name a song. Uh, shit, what am I supposed to do <laughs> when I don't know? Um, I think I actually do have like a Yumi at Six song saved from like like 2015 or something. Whereas I, I don't think I ever like really listened to Tonight Alive. So I'm, I'm gonna give it to Yumi at six. MCR versus Transit. Obviously MCR, love them. Sleeping with Sirens versus Pierce the Veil. Pierce the Veil. I never got into Sleeping with Sirens. I like one song and that's about it. So PTV all the way. Fall Out Boy vs. Panic at the Disco. Y'all, this is tough. You guys know Panic was like my favorite band for many years, really helped get me into the scene. Um, I also loved Fall Out Boy. I mean, they were right up in there. I found them. I've been listening probably to Fall Out Boy like longer than Panic, but like Panic was like my faves for a long time. And I love the majority of Panic's discography, like minus the last like two albums, obviously. Like everything else, love. And I do love most of Fall Out Boy's discography too, but I, I definitely like know Panics a lot better. And because they were my faves for many years, I, I gotta give it to Panic. But th this is a tough one. Home Safe versus Stand Atlantic. Um, I'm gonna give it to Home Safe. I know more of their stuff. I've seen them live before. Love you, Ryan Rumchucks. <laughs> Four Years Strong versus The Wonder Years. This is tough, but I've really gotten into the Wonder Years the past like year. I saw them last year in 2022 when they did that tour where they played like two of their older albums in full. And that show just totally won me over as a fan. I've seen Four Years Strong before. Their music, I feel like I've never really been able to get super into, though they are good live, but the Wonder Years are, are great. And it, I'm kind of sad it took me so long to get into them. So definitely Wonder Years. Sleep On It versus Waster. Once again, Sleep On It don't exist anymore, um, but definitely Sleep On It. I saw them so many times while they were a band. I only saw Waster, I think, once, and like, they're fun. They're like, kind of sound like neck deep, you know, but Sleep On It, like, they're from Chicago, and they really will always have my heart, so definitely Sleep On It. Rest in peace, I still want them back. Like Pacific versus Rome. Um, like Pacific all the way. I have been a fan of Like Pacific for so, so long, since like 2016. I love them, they're great. And they're still doing great things. Broadside versus Heart Attack Man. Heart Attack Man all the way. I do like Broadside, but I love Heart Attack Man. So excited for the new album coming out soon, guys. Turnstile versus Basement. Turnstile. Their fan base may suck, but I love the band. <laughs> Turnstile, awesome. Knuckle Puck vs. Real Friends! You guys already know who I'm gonna pick, Knuckle Puck, because those are my boys. They're my faves. They're, they're, we'll see how far they get. They might get to the end. I don't know. But Knuckle Puck, amazing. 
bearings versus small talks. Um, I've seen small talks before actually once. Um, they're cool. I haven't really been keeping up with like their new stuff or anything. Bearings, I love. Been a big fan of bearings for many years. Um, actually, I think we're going on like four years, four or five years of listening to bearings. So yeah, love bearings. Trash boat or microwave? This is a tough one. Oh man. Oh gosh. I think these I feel like are also slightly different genres. Like trash boat is way more raw and kind of raspy and microwave is like slower and like lighter. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go with microwave. I'm, I'm a bigger microwave fan though. I do really enjoy trash boat too. Capstan or knocked loose? Oh, knocked loose y'all all the way. Have mercy versus can't swim. Um, can't swim. Title fight or tiger's jaw? Tiger's jaw. I don't really actually, I like, like title fight. Like I'd put them on in the background, but I can't really like name a title fight song. Whereas tiger's jaw, I definitely know more by them. And like could sing along to more. Okay, so that was the first round of everything. Now we're gonna go back up to the left side. We've got movements versus trophy eyes. Why Lord, would you do this to me? Oh man, I don't know. So movements, I like everything they've ever put out. That's why they're probably like up there on my top five favorite bands. Like flawless discography, I love everything. They make me cry, they're amazing. Trophy Eyes, I have never been able to fully get into their first album, though I think I would like it because it's like super raw and heavy. But everything else they've put out after that though, I love, right? So it's like, just with the exception of the first album, which I don't really know very well, everything else, fantastic. This is really hard, because these two bands are like, they're up in like that top, you know, for me. But I just feel like I have to give it to Movements, because I love everything they've put out, whereas Trophy Eyes, I can't say that about everything, because their first album, I... I should get into Men Move On. I know I should. If you have any Men Move On tracks you recommend like, like me to check out, please tell me. But uh, I'm gonna give it to Movements. But that one is really tough. Belmont versus State Champs. Oh my god, how am I supposed to? <sighs> I, I like more of Belmont's discography. That's the thing. Though I think, I mean, Belmont's discography is probably smaller than State Champs', but <sighs> this is really tough. I want our state champs, are you kidding me? I'm gonna feel so bad like not giving it to state champs, but I feel like in this situation, Belmont are kind of the underdogs. I'm gonna give it to Belmont. Neck Deep versus With Khan, uh, Neck Deep. Story So Far versus Mayday Parade, definitely Story So Far. Seaway versus Paramore. I'm sorry, I have to give it to Seaway. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Paramore fans. Simple Plan versus Sum 41. I don't know. I'm kind of mad with both of them. Um, I'm gonna give it to Simple Plan because I know more of their stuff. Weirdly, I don't know how that happened, but I somehow do. Boston Manor versus Cartel, Boston Manor. Don Broco versus Hot Mulligan, uh, Hot Molly. Though they should tour together. Why do I feel like they have? I don't know, but they should tour together because that'd be fire. Okay, other side, we've got Yumi at Six versus My Chemical Romance. Definitely My Chemical Romance. Pierce the Veil versus Panic at the Disco. I'm gonna give it to Panic. I'm sorry, but I love them. Home Safe versus The Wonder Years. Wonder Years. Sleep On It versus Like Pacific. That's a tough one. Oh man. That was really tough. It's tough because like ones doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is one of those things too where like on like a normal day, if you like shuffled it, I'd prefer to listen to sleep on it. Cause like same with like, like how I said with a day to remember, like I have to be in a certain mood to want to listen to like Pacific. I'm not always in that mood. I'm gonna go with sleep on it because of that. Heart Attack Man versus Turnstile. Oh my God. I have to go with Turnstile I think. That is a really, really close one though. Knuckle Puck versus Bearings. Knuckle Puck. Microwave versus Knocked Loose, like so different, but I'm gonna have to go with Knocked Loose. Love them, definitely know more of their stuff. Can't Swim and Tiger's Jaw? I don't know, I guess I'll go with Tiger's Jaw. I don't really listen to Can't Swim anymore. Narrowing the gap again. Other side, Movements versus Belmont. Ah, uh, Movements, yeah. Movements I feel like could go pretty far in this. Neck Deep versus The Story So Far, oh my god. 
my god, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This once again kind of depends on my mood. But I think I have to go with Story So Far. Because like, newer Neck Deep I'm not as in love with, but newer Story So Far is still fire. Seaway versus Simple Plans, Seaway. Boston Manor versus Hot Mulligan, that's a toughie. I've seen them tour together, I think. Haven't I? Yeah, no, yeah, I have. It's been a good time. Um, damn, like, I, I know more of Boston Manor stuff. And I also feel like they're a little bit more pop punk. And I've been listening to them longer. I'm gonna give it to Boston Manor. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna be maybe surprised to hear that. I don't know. Okay, other side, we've got MCR versus Panic. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go with Panic. I know more of their stuff. We have more history. <laughs> Wonder Years versus Sleep On It. Um, I low-key want to sleep on it again. Why are Sleep On It kind of getting far in this? Just because, like, same sort of thing. Like, I have more history with them. Their songs, I think, mean more to me than Wonder Years. Like, because they're from Chicago, like, I have more memories with them. They remind me a lot of college. So, yeah, just personally, I'm going to go with Sleep On It. Turnstile versus Knuckle Puck. I mean, obviously, I've got to pick Knuckle Puck, but I still love you, Turnstile. Knocked Loose versus Tiger's Jaw. Knocked Loose. Okay, we are coming down to the wire here. Movements versus the story so far. Why'd I have to go down to this one? Ugh, I'm gonna have to go with movements. Like, I like their music more. I like them live more. They're both great bands, musically live everything, but movements just mean so much to me. So, definitely have to do movements. Seaway versus Boston Manor. Boston Manor, for sure. Panic versus Sleep On It. Okay, panic. <laughs> Finally lost Sleep On It. Sorry, boys. Hey, knuckle Pug versus Knock Loose. I like the KP versus KL vibe we have going on, but uh, obviously Knuckle Pug. I don't know why Knock Loose is in this, to be honest. Like, they're hardcore, right? I mean, they're not pop punk. People, like, weirdly are like, oh, they're like the pop punk hardcore or something. Is that what they say? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they're in this. I mean, I love them, but I don't know why they're in this. Okay, this is like, we're coming down to it for the final four, y'all. The final four. Movements versus Boston Manor. It's gonna be movements. I think y'all know it's gonna be movements. Panic versus knuckle pog. Of course it would like come down to those two. It's funny that worked out that way, just because like Panic was my favorite band for many, many years and then it switched over to knuckle pog and they've been my favorite band up till the present. Uh, and I have a lot of history and love for both those bands. Obviously Panic's era is over, both like with them being a band and also just like for me, you know? Like, I mean, I listen to them every now and then if I'm like in the mood to feel nostalgic, but like Knuckle Puck have been my boys for so long. They're still my boys. Uh, they're my current boys, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to give that to Knuckle Puck. And with that, we are down to the final two, the big match. <laughs> and that is gonna be Knuckle Puck versus Movements, which is a very interesting lineup. I mean, it's not crazy surprising, but I, I don't know, I didn't think this would happen. I don't know. I mean, I thought Knuckle Puck would get to the end, let's be real. And I feel like it's kind of obvious that I think the winner, shocker to you all, is going to have to be Knuckle Puck, my boys. Honestly, you know what this makes me want to do is this makes me want to make a video about my top five or top ten favorite bands because like movements I don't know where they'd be but they might be like number two or three at this point So like this is pretty accurate with knuckle puck being one like movements may very well be two I just haven't thought that far ahead in life and like placed it officially, you know in my brain But maybe if you guys want to see that video like soon in the future I could try and do that and do like a current ranking and you know Maybe do it again in a few years down the line see if it changes, you know, but um, yeah Knuckle puck won. Congratulations to my boys Like I said you guys if you know or you've been watching me for a while probably are not surprised at this but uh, this was super fun. I'm glad I did it. It's kind of, you know, in the spirit of March madness, March sadness. And um, yeah, Knuckle Puck are my boys. What can I say? I actually saw them on March 1st, right after we came back from vacation. We saw them out here in the suburbs of Chicago. And uh, it was amazing. It was so great. I got to talk to uh, Mello and John at the beginning. So sweet. And I got to like, you know, crowd surf. And uh, it was a great time. It was really, really fun. Love seeing my boys. It was a great way to end my vacation was seeing Knuckle Puck. It was like the perfect ending. So um, yeah, they won the bracket. Well, there you guys go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun to watch. Um, like I said at the beginning, please fill this out. Um, I will 
post uh, a link I think to if I can find it like the Twitter link where I found this I'll post it in the description if you guys want to fill it out yourself um, and if you do please tweet it at me DM it something uh, post a link in the comment of the video or just like tell me in the comments like who would have won your bracket because I'd love to know it's super fun I really like seeing everybody's different brackets because I like seeing how opinions differ and everything and I think it's really interesting um, please you know don't take this personally if I didn't pick one of your favorite bands or anything you know this is all in good fun and um, yeah, I had a really fun time filming this. Glad to be back filming videos. Hoping to have more videos out for you guys soon. So sorry for that delay of like a month, month and a half. You know, what can you do? Illness and everything and, and vacations, you know, it's life. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.